This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today I'm looking at four different phone applications you can use to run your DCC model railroad. Welcome back, everybody. You know, cell phones can do quite a lot of things these days, and that includes running your model railroad. Today, we're looking at four different applications that can run your model railroad. We're gonna look at two for iPhone and two for Android, just so that we cover all of the bases. They all have their pros and cons, and they all have their reasons for using them, and there's no reason to have just one of them. So let's go we ahead and We are going to be taking a look at four apps different are. apps, two for iPhone and two for Android. All of these apps are free in their respective app stores, and they have their perks and drawbacks. All of these will be tested using DCC++ EX. Your results may vary. It's also important to note that you will need JMRI, DCC++ EX, or another compatible Y throttle server system in order to use these apps. Let's start with the iPhone apps. The first is Y throttle Lite. Y Throttle Lite is the most well-known iPhone throttle app. It connects using the IP address and port, which if you're using JMRI is listed in the Y Throttle window that you open up when starting your Y Throttle server. To get this address when you're using JMRI in the roster window, go to actions, start Y Throttle server, and a small window will open up and you'll see the IP address and port listed here. Once that is done, you have to select a loco. You can do this by either recalling previous locomotives that you used, choosing one from your roster if you're using JMRI, selecting a consist that you've made, or keying in the DCC address. Once you've selected a locomotive, you are ready to rock and roll. The throttle screen has a vertical slider for the throttle as well as function keys that you can swipe up and down to. It also has an emergency stop button. Notably absent is a power on and off button, which if you're using standard DCC++ means that if you have a short circuit, you will have to go into the computer to power the layout back on. One big flaw of Y Throttle Lite is that if you close the app while the train is running, the train stops until you reconnect and restart the locomotive. So no browsing, calling, or texting while running trains. There is a paid version that is $10 in the App Store with more features, but I haven't checked it out because, well, you have to pay for it. And that is Y Throttle Lite. Next up is the Train Driver app, and it connects just like Y Throttle using the IP address and port. You do this by clicking the plug icon at the bottom where the red light is flashing and type in your info. Next up, you have to enter the local's address by tapping the flashing gear icon. This doesn't have a recall or stored locomotive feature, so address is your only option. Once you've done that, you're ready to run trains. You can control up to three trains simultaneously by clicking the left and right buttons at the bottom to swap between three different throttles. One thing that I like is that all the function buttons are visible without scrolling. The throttle is a vertical slider, but at least on my phone, the phone vibrates as you tick it up and down, so it gives a bit of a real feel to it. There is no consist feature that I can find, and this is a pretty simple throttle. It does have two things over Y throttle light. One is a power button located at the bottom and two is the ability for trains to keep running even when the app is closed out. I actually did a test and ran a train for eight hours straight using this app and did not have it on most of the time. So that is Train Driver. It's actually a bit tricky to find in the App Store. Uh, you actually have to search Y Throttle and it is one of the search results. So I'll link it below along with the rest of them. Now we'll move to Android. The Android platform is home to the most well-known throttle app, Engine Driver, and it is a good one. Engine Driver connects just like the others with your IP address and port, but it does store recent connections so that if you're coming back, you can just click them. Engine Driver can also store recently used locomotives like Y Throttle Lite, as well as look at your JMRI roster in addition to keying in your address. 
One of its big selling points, in my opinion, is the ability to do consisting in app. All you have to do is go back to the address screen, click the address button and type another address and hit OK. You select the front or rear facing for your locomotive orientation and you are good to go. Just a quick note, if you are doing consist, try to make sure your locomotives are speed matched or you are going to risk damaging the motors and the locomotives. One cool thing about engine driver is the configurable throttle screen. I have mine set up for two throttles here, but you can do some customization of your own. Once you've selected your locomotives, you can throttle up and you are good to go. The app does have a power on and off button built in, so no worries there. Engine Driver is the most powerful app of the four, but it does have a big drawback. Like Y Throttle Lite, Engine Driver cuts the train off when the app is closed, though it does take a few seconds for it to stop, so no multitasking when running trains. And that is Engine Driver. The final one for Android is Cab Engineer. Cab Engineer has a couple of unique features. One is the ability to save your different railroads that you operate, so that you can save your personal one and your friends or your clubs. The throttle connection is a breeze and uses the IP address and port to connect. It also has the ability to add a lot of locomotives. I'm not even sure what the limit is, but I added seven simultaneously with ease. All you do is press the plus button in the top right and enter your address. You also have the option to recall previous locomotives that aren't currently selected. Each of the throttles can be operated simultaneously. The app also has a power on and off button and like the train driver app for iPhone, it will run the train even when the app is closed out. I did do an eight hour test with this one as well and it kept running. So that's Cab Engineer. Those are four throttle apps to check out. There are a few more out there, but these are four that I like. I ran the iOS apps on a new iPhone SE and the Android apps were ran on a Kindle Fire 10. So those are the four phone applications, two iPhone, two Android. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed testing them out. Uh, some surprising things for me, some things that I didn't uh, think about at first, but are really, really great. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I wanna say a big thank you to all of my patrons. They are listed right here. You can become a patron for as little as $1 a month, get all sorts of sneak peeks and conversations and things like that. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading. Hi, and digital, and today I'm showing you all the... Oh, my phone screen turned off.